some of my very favorite things about making bags include pockets. Hi, I'm Lara, one of the owners and designers here at Rivet Patterns. And today I'm beginning a three-part series on pockets. So they're basic pockets that we can add to any bag. And today is part one and we're going to make a patch pocket. It's super easy. Let's get started. To the side and we're just going to work with our um, slip pocket or patch pocket you can call it whichever you want so we're going to place these right sides together it's hard to tell the difference in this fabric but pick a side right so we're going to place them right sides together and uh, let me grab my clips you may or may not need them um, depending on how seasoned you are as a sewist but you can use pins or you can use clips. It's up to you. So I'm going to clip here. I'm going to clip here. I'm going to clip here. And then just for my own, just so I remember, I'm going to do two on the bottom. Okay. So this is the top. This is the bottom. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start here. I'm going to use a half inch seam allowance. You can use a quarter seam allowance, quarter inch seam allowance as well. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to start at the pink. And I'm going to sew to the to about a half an inch from the uh, the long edge. I'm going to put my knee, make sure my needle is down, lift my presser foot, and then I'm going to pivot, and then I'm going to sew down here or across here, across here, across here, and then over to here to the green one. And I'm going to stop and put a back stitch at both at the beginning and at the end. And I'm going to leave this open because I need to turn this right side out. So let's head over to our sewing machine. All right, here we go. I'm going to start at the pink, back stitch, notice my needle is down, press her foot is up, pivot. Needle is down. Needle is down. Needle is down. Oops. And back stitch. All right, we can clip our threads. So let's trim our seam allowance um, a little bit. If you're using a quarter inch seam allowance, you do not have to trim your seam allowance unless you want to. That's a pretty small seam allowance. Okay, so now I'm at the uh, bottom. This is the bottom where the opening is. Okay, I'm going to trim the seam allowance, but I'm not going to trim the opening. So it's going to look like this. And I'm going to angle it out at the opening. And you can see that's where the opening is, okay? So you do not want to trim that. Now I'm going to clip these corners. I want the corners of my slip pocket or patch pocket, whatever you're calling it, to be nice and crisp. So I'm going to clip the corners um, close to the stitch line without going through on all four corners. Okay. All right, so here's what we've got. We're going to turn this right side out. So now you can see they're still a little bit rounded. So I'm going to grab a pair of blunt scissors. You can use a turning tool, whatever, whatever you have. Just nothing super pointy because you don't want to put a hole in your, in your um, corners. Okay, this is not too bad. Okay, so here we have it. Let me get my pressing mat because that's what comes next. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my pocket. I just want to get it very nice and crisp. Okay, so we press that down nicely. All right, so here's the bottom. This is where the two inch opening is. All right, so that's the bottom of the pocket. Grab one of your main panels and you're gonna um, you can put this on the outside or you can put it on the inside you can put it in 
the corner like this you can put it in the center um, it is completely up to you just you don't want to go into the seam allowance so if you do in the corner something like that which is pretty darn cute um, you need to keep out of the, the seam allowance above and below okay so bring it down a little bit just to be safe or you could just center it wherever you want to put it you can and you can put it on the inside or the outside I'm actually gonna put it right here and line it up right there okay so you can use double-sided tape for this uh, or you can use a pin you just want to pin it down however many pins you think you need it's up to you now I'm gonna head over to my sewing machine and I'm going to edge stitch um, or top stitch down this side across the bottom and up and leave this open so I have a nice pocket. All right, here we go. Here we go, how cute is that? Let's take our pin out. Um, we need to trim our threads if we missed any. There we go. And we've got a perfectly cute pocket uh, that will easily fit my iPhone. Well, now you have a patch pocket. You can put it on the outside. You can put it on the inside. You can put two on the outside. Whatever you desire for your bag, however it works. And hopefully, it's useful. Mine fits my phone perfectly. You could make them any size that you like, any shape that you like. It's totally up to you, but the instructions are exactly the same. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and you will join me next time. See you soon.